So earlier this year, Xiaomi announced the new Redmi Air Dots 3 True Wireless Earbuds with Bluetooth 5.2, supports aptX adaptive and a beefier battery life. Now that got me really excited as I felt that Xiaomi finally decided to up the game for their, wide, for their budget wireless earbud series and besides that, it has actually been more than one year since I bought the Redmi Air Dots S. So I ordered one from AliExpress with my own money to test it out. Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My channel mainly focuses on reviewing um, budget and affordable wireless earbud and help you to decide before you hit that buy button. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's content. The AirDots 3 retails around US $45. Uh, now, of course, you might be able to get it slightly cheaper via platforms such as AliExpress. I will put the details in the description below if you wish to check it out. Now, I've actually been testing the Redmi AirDots 3 wireless earbuds for the past couple of days. So here are my top three things you should actually consider before you hit that buy button. And of course, towards the end of the video, I'll be including some sound clips for you to listen to the microphone quality of the Redmi Air Dots 3. Now, let's talk about the design first, the design and build. Now, in terms of the design and build of the Air Dots 3, uh, Xiaomi decided to continue with the same design and shape as the Air Dots S and Air Dots 2. Now, though the dimension is slightly larger, taller and heavier. Now, when you hold the casing in your hands, it feels more premium and it has actually like a frost-like finishing compared to the Air Dots S, which personally felt like a plastic toy. Now at the back of the case, you will find a USB-C port. Now this is actually an upgrade over the Air Dots S, which uses a micro USB port. When you plug in the USB charging cable, the white LED light at the front will light up to indicate that it's actually charging. When it's fully charged, the white LED light will actually go off automatically. Now for the lid itself, there's actually no built-in resistance in the spring. So this also means that it's not able to hold the lid at any angle. You will need to open the lid fully. Now inside, the earbuds, the positioning, it remains the same as the AirDots S with an additional physical button right in the middle. Now this button actually allows the users to cut the Bluetooth connection, to establish Bluetooth connection, and at the same time, more importantly, to actually do a complete factory reset if things goes wrong. Now for the earbuds itself, Xiaomi made some incremental changes to the physical design. Um, now comparing it with the AirDots S, it is actually slightly larger, or well, slightly longer, if you look at it up close. Now Xiaomi actually removed the physical tactile button found on the AirDots S and AirDots 2 and in its place with a glossy touch control area and of course with all glossy surfaces they are actually a fingerprint magnet. Now underneath the earbuds or rather on the other side of the earbud you will find that there is actually a new sensor. Xiaomi call this the smartware. So what's going to happen is that when you uh, remove the earbuds from your ear it's going to automatically pause the music or video you're watching. And when you put it back on into your ear, it's going to resume the music or the video automatically. Now let's put aside the general things and let's talk about the first major thing which you should actually consider and that is actually the battery life. Now, the battery size of the AirDots 3, especially for the earbuds, it's only slightly larger than the AirDots S at 43 milliamp, whereas for the AirDots S, it's at 40 milliamp. But the battery performance of the AirDots 3 is a huge upgrade over the AirDots S. Now, on my own personal testing, in terms of music, when I put it at 100%, at, at I was able to get around seven to seven and a half hours of playtime, which is actually almost double the AirDots S. Now, in terms of talk time on the AirDots 3, I was able to get a little bit longer, around four to four and a five hours, all right, four to 4.5 hours. 
and this is actually uh, compared to AirDots S is about 3.5 to 4 hours. Now in terms of the battery size of the charging case, Xiaomi actually gave it a significant bump to 600 milliamp. Now this is actually double of the AirDots S. Now with a significant bump to 600 milliamp, the AirDots 3 is actually able to give you a total usage of up to 30 hours. Whereas for the AirDots S, it's only able to manage 12 hours. Now let's move on to the second major thing to consider, and that is the day-to-day -day functionality of the AirDots 3. Now the AirDots 3 is actually using the Qualcomm 3040 chip, which comes, on with, comes with Bluetooth 5.2. Now, the initial pairing experience with the AirDots 3 is an absolute delight. What do I mean by that? Basically, the moment you open the lid, you go to the Bluetooth menu in your smartphone and you will actually see the Redmi AirDots 3 pop up on the list. All you need to do is tap on that and it will pair instantly. And of course, the good thing to actually take note is that in the entire process, it's actually done without even taking up the earbuds at all. That is a huge upgrade over the AirDots S. Now, subsequently for the Bluetooth connection, uh, it's almost instant with your devices. You know, whenever you open the lid, the connection will be established and all you need to do is take out the earbuds, put it in, and then you can start playing the music or the video you wanna hear. Now, for the volume output, even at 100%, uh, there's no audio distortion and it's not unbearable. Though I have to take note is that for those of you who are like me, whereby you tend to enjoy your music at 30% volume output or 40% output, I would need to let you know is that it's pretty soft within that range. Now, the first bummer when it comes to the AirDots 3 is that Xiaomi did a very weird decision is that they actually omit controls for changing tracks and changing volume on the earbuds. In fact, Xiaomi only included two basic controls and that is on the left to actually activate the, the, the voice assistant and then double tap on the right for play and pause. And for those of you who are actually using Android smartphone, you will have actually, you will have access to the Xiaomi Xiaomi mobile phone app. Now, even within the app itself, there is very limited um, customization and there's very limited options for you to actually customize the controls on the left earbud and the controls on the right earbud. Now, the second bummer while I was actually using the AirDots 3, which is also the most irritating thing, is that the earbuds keep dropping sound at a constant cadence. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, this issue, it actually happens almost to every single thing related to audio via my phone. Uh, phone calls, video calls, music, video, Netflix, YouTube, etc. And when it happens, when the, when the sound drops, it can last anywhere from 2 seconds to 10 seconds. And I would have to say, I've tried almost everything possible um, to reset the Bluetooth connection, it doesn't help. I've even did a complete factory reset, it doesn't help. Um, I've even gone to the extent to make sure that on my phone, it's actually on the latest firmware version. But still, the problem persists. And the thing is this, is that this is an issue from the very first day I started using the AirDots 3. Now, in my own opinion, I feel that this is very unacceptable, even for the most affordable wireless product. Because we're actually talking about this is a huge compromise on the basic functionality. If a wireless product is not able to sustain um, or maintain a stable connection, a stable wireless connection, even under ideal conditions, I mean, with my phone actually less than one feet away from the earbuds and it's unobstructed, it's simply broken. No, but the thing is this is that I can only speak of the product I have with me and not for the rest. So for those of you who actually has the AirDots 3 and you know, you might want to let me know in the comment section below whether do you have actually the same issues as me. Right. Now moving on to the third major thing to consider is the music audio quality. Now the AirDots 3 actually supports SBC, AAC and APTX adaptive. Now while the AirDots S only supports SBC. Now instruments sounds natural. The separation is there, 
And besides that, vocals are very, very clear. So whether you're actually listening to music or to video, um, the vocals are always front and center. It's actually louder than the rest of the sound. Now, besides that, the AirDots 3, it actually offers clarity without being too harsh or too sharp, which is very nice. But of course, the sound can be flat or thin and offers a lack of bass. This is especially true if you like to listen to certain music, you know, or EDMs or dance, which has lots of bass. Uh, it's actually kind of missing from the AirDots 3. Now, besides that, listening to soundtrack with APTX or without APTX, um, personally, I don't feel that there's any difference. But of course, still, for those of you who feel that there are differences, do let me know in the comment section below what you felt about the differences in the audio. Now, overall, the, the sound quality uh, from the AirDots 3 is good. I mean, it's decent. It's definitely a huge upgrade over the AirDots S. But I just felt that it's average for pop, for like dance music, for EDMs, and music with loads of bass. And of course, finally, as mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'll be including a series, a couple of clips uh, showcasing the microphone quality of the AirDots 3. So do remember to put on your headphones. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the red knee and dot three. This is a mic test on the red knee and dot three. Carry in the bus. Carry in the bus. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the red knee air dots tree. Mic test on the red knee air dots tree. I'm currently in the cafe right now. I'm currently in the cafe right now. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is my test on the airbox three. This is my test on the airbox three. I'm currently walking outside. I'm currently walking outside with mask on. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So, finally, are they worth it? Should you buy the AirDots 3? Well, if we look past the one big negativity, which is the issue with the constant sound dropping, I mean, in my opinion, around US $37 to $40, I won't recommend getting it. If it's priced at maybe $20, US I might consider it, but at this price point, there are better options out there. Having said that, if you actually own the AirDots S, it would definitely be a huge upgrade. Or if you actually own a pair of earbuds which is below $20 or you know or $15 in your know, looking um, for a major upgrade, you know, really, you know, in terms of clarity and music, you can actually consider the AirDots 3. And there you have it. This is actually my personal review of the Xiaomi Redmi AirDots 3. I hope it has helped you. If it did, it would be great if you could actually smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with as many friends as you can. Anyway guys, that's all the time we have. My name is Johnny and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!